Hello everyone, this is Zabaiske beginner tutorial series part number 30 and in this tutorial videos you are going to learn this sum and every function in the array methods with how it's work and we're going to do that practically over there. So let's start this video right now here. Okay, first we are going to learn this about this Zabaiske array sum method. The sum function is how it's work basically. So for that we take an array over that this is an is variable is is variable array and then you can say you take some is variable the values then 14 16 18 and 20. Now just we can see that now we're going to check the value one using that adult is is equal to 18. So when this is is equal to 18 then it will be written a function true or if not match then it will be written false. But this is we can do that using that for function in for loop using but the for loop and conditional statement using but that will be the lengthy process so for that we have a very smooth and this very small process in array sum method so for that we have a very smooth function this is sum function so we are going to using it and we will be do that how to it was used and how it's very used to find this one this condition one then checking all this so now that's back to here or coding studio here okay here you can see i've opened my visual code studio and this is my basic small file and we're watching this library on the browser over here now i want to create a file and which is sum and every dot js now save this file and back to this or code this file on this index.html file now i'm going to connect this sum and every dot js file now save it now we need to back to our sum and every dot js file so first of all i'm going to take a heading over there now here you can see i have take the title one there and this is title and i take an array element and then i print that array element which is and you can see the printed out on there now we're going to do that performing the sum how it's work but for example we see that some of there are this array method directly you can write the as is thus like this variable dot the sum this array method but this is a little bit of different this is directly you can write there so first of all i'm gonna take here another variable which is c and then i'm gonna take it which is our variable name which is as is so we need to take that as is and dot sum and the function so normally we see that when we have provided and then then we provide here the value of this then it was checking there but this is little bit of different the sum is working so there we need to add a function not only the value on there we need to add a function and we need to call the function and this the function will be written the value on there now we need to create a function over there so i'm gonna create a function that is um i'm gonna make it cac ck check adults okay now we have created this function over there and we need to print out this c now let me copy this and paste it over there now instead of as is we need to provide the variable name c and when we are going to print it out it is not working because it is not showing any value because this we have the function call and this function we haven't written any value on there so now we need to create a function now let's copy the function name here now after this break line over there so i'm gonna create a function and then we need to provide the function name and then we are creating a invalid function and then inside of it we need to provide a variable which is we can provide it any type of this function variable so i'm gonna take it here like is and then we need to open the curly braces and then we need to provide here the return the value over there so this we're going to return this is we have take this function value and this value we want to return something and then this take adult will be written one this sum function over there so now we need to return here something and for this what we want the return is will be is this is we are going to return this this value on this is section this function is and there we want to return the value on there so is i'm gonna return it is greater than or equal to 18 so it will be checked that okay, it is greater than so this is will be written this is variable this is written will be 18 one there so when then it will be written and the check adults will be written one this or some function so it will be checked that when this value is 18 here you can see there's a lot of array element if it get a value one there which is the less thing equal 18 or greater than 18 then it will be show as a true now let's check out it save it and you can see the the output is true one there so now if we are going to change it like 18 plus I'm gonna make it as a 2 1 and then I'm gonna make it 5 and save it it will be still true because 
it was checking this whole of this our array element and there if it find anywhere this or greater than 18 or equal 18 then it will be true so there you can see it was still the greater than 18 it is added on there so i'm gonna make it three and then you can see there there is false totally because this is checking one there if it not get there but if we're going to make it here this less than or equal and if we change that sign one there which is is 18 or less than 18 then it will be show true on there then you can see that this is shown the true so this is basically this two type of we can make it child test or the seeking adult test so we are going to do it perform is normally that the adult test so you can see that how it's work basically you can see that okay, so now, now we're, we're going, going to learn this, this array is every method that how it's work every also working as the same like the sum function over there this is i'm going to take these same things as and variable by adult test but they have a small difference when this is the condition we run over for this the ages is greater than or equal to the adult test is 18 but it will be need to match this all of our array element in this ages variable which is we have the value this all value need to be is greater than or equal to 18 then it will be run true or if it less than this 18 then it will be run false so we're going to do that in back to our coding studio and this is the same process now we need to just do that some modification and some small changes over there so let's back to our code studio every function also working like similarly one there so we just need to change one this one the sum instead of sum we need to provide here every one there and save it it will be still false because this is checking the adult which is 18 but this is every is had a maybe very small difference which is when it was 18 or equal to 18 then this all array element it will be check all of this array element if it match this all array element is 18 or equal to 18 or less greater than 18 then it will be run this in it will be statement is true because it will be this every function is the difference is there it will be check all of this array element if it mass all then it will be true if it not mass all then it will be false for example i'm gonna make it here this 10 i'm gonna this one I'm gonna make it is 20 and save it you can see we have this 18 value 18 plus value there but this is run false because it was testing this all of this element so I'm gonna make it here 50 also it will be still false so we need to make this all of this element is at least nearly this 18 plus or equal to 18 so here this 14 I'm gonna make it here 18 and the 10 I'm gonna make it 100 and then you can see this all value is greater than 18 and equal to 18 so it will be run to and we will be see that now save this file you can see statuses and the start document is statuses printed it was a true value because this all value is get there is is all value is equal to 18 plus and more than 18 you can find there so this is true now if we are going to change this or comparison of product science i'm gonna make it less than 18 or equal to 18 so we have this and save it it will be run false because this is record this all value is less than 18 so i'm gonna write in here so 10 and 18 to 5 and i'm gonna make it 3 so i'm gonna make this one also a 18 now save it and it was run true now if i provide here and one for this is less greater than 18 then it will be not run it will be run as a false and you can see this so this is how basically sum and every function is work sum is basically work if array element any value is greater than or equal to that value that we have written that function then it will be run to or if it not get then it will be run false and the sum fun every function is work them when this get this all of our array element is the same as matching their condition then it will be run true if not otherwise it will be run false so i hope you understand this sum and every function that how it work in the array javascript array method so if you have any question still about it then you can give me on the comment section below and if you enjoyed the tutorial please like on it and share it with your friends and please subscribe our channel so that you will never miss any tutorial from us